So, Prof, I know that you're still with us. So sorry for interrupting you. Uh, we were talking about the concern that si the scientific community has uh, about what is happening in a time of war around these nuclear power plants in mm. Ukraine. Yes, well, certainly with anything to do with nuclear, you've got to be very careful. And uh, we had a case where another one of the Ukrainian uh, nuclear power plants was directly attacked by, uh, uh, by fire. Admittedly, they didn't hit the actual reactor itself, but they hit the building around there. And it's just not the sort of thing you do anywhere in, in the vicinity of such a plant. Plus, in, in Charkov, uh, there was an, a smaller, much smaller research reactor, and that has been extensively damaged. So uh, that is going to uh, cause some sort of a uh, long-lasting uh, um, uh, contamination. Uh, it's also uh, dangerous for the people exposed to this. Uh, this is the sort of thing that we really need to uh, be avoiding. And, and uh, this indiscriminate firing and sometimes almost deliberate attacks on a, on a nuclear facility is just uh, something that we cannot condone. As a scientific community, you're also saying that South Africa needs to take a stand and condemn what Russia is doing. As we know, mm -hmm. South Africa remaining neutral. Why is it important for a bunch of scientists uh, to make this call? Why did you feel so compelled to write this letter and make this call? Yes, OK. Let me just say we don't re represent anyone in particular. We are a, a group of individuals who just felt that uh, we cannot be uh, seen to be neutral in a situation like that. Because uh, being neutral, effectively, what our government has been doing is, is saying that nobody is to, to blame for anything right now, effectively saying that uh, the invasion of Ukraine uh, would be justified. Uh, we totally disagree with this. I think a, a line has been crossed. And uh, most of uh, the scientific community in the world has reacted to that, usually by cutting uh, ties uh, with uh, Russian and, and Belarusian uh, scientists. We feel that something like this should be considered as well. Admittedly, uh, some of us uh, feel that we would like to still uh, keep in touch with some of our Russian colleagues that we have worked with in the past. But we feel that we need to be seen to be saying that we don't like this particular situation. And that is why we came up with this letter. Uh, there will be different reasons why all of us have signed that, but we all subscribe to uh, what is uh, in the letter at the moment. And we just, as I said, we don't want, we think that the, our government has not been uh, doing enough to try and, and really come, uh, bring this conflict to an end. What they should have done is what the initial statement from uh, the uh, Department of, uh, of uh, for International Affairs was, uh, was yeah. came out with. I, I they, wonder... they said that Russia the invasion yes. is wrong, and that's. Uh, that's what you wish they'd stuck to. Then. I get it. Yeah. I, I want to yes. uh, just focus on one aspect of the letter. You write, we strongly oppose governmental attempts to silence research bodies mm -hmm. in South Africa, instructing them not to engage in activities that could be construed as a political commentary or political reaction to the developments in Ukraine. Are you telling me that you and all your colleagues have been told you're not allowed to make political statements? And if so, who told you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, not me personally, not at, uh, at the universities in general, uh, but we have people working at uh, uh, institutions which uh, fall under the government. And they have been told that certainly as far as an institution is concerned, they should not take any, make any kind of statement which might upset uh, the relationship that this country has with Russia. And we just think this is wrong. Uh, if, if, if the scientists, if the academics of this country don't speak out, then, then uh, we have a problem. Uh, we can't, we can't have a situation where people feel, feel somehow intimidated uh, saying what they feel about something. Uh, it's, it's something that we, is quite precious to us, and it, I think it's precious to the, the broader South African community that we can say what, basically what we like without it, it being, uh, feeling sort of repercussions. But uh, some of us felt that they were scared to, uh, to come out and, and make such a statement, and, and I think that just highlights a problem. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, uh, telling us that we shouldn't be making certain comments is, is, is completely unacceptable to us. Have you had any response to your open letter? It was written about 10 days ago. Has anyone responded? Who was it aimed at, the South African government, or just generally as a sort of talking point? Uh, it, it was aimed, aimed quite generally. We haven't had any, I'm not aware of anybody who's confronted us uh, directly about that. And uh, so I think in that sense, I think it's good that we made the statement. I think it's, it's clear. Uh, that uh, this is uh, how um, a significant number of people in this country feel about the situation. And uh, I think that's important. I think it's important for 
for people uh, in this country. It's important for people elsewhere uh, to see that this is how we feel uh, uh, this should be done. So no, we haven't had any any kind of reactions. At the same time, uh, I'm disappointed that uh, the Ministry uh, of uh, Higher Education and, and, and uh, Science and Innovation hasn't actually come out and said anything about it at all. I would have expected them that if they said that, no, this is not true, we, that we are quite happy with, uh, with our academics saying whatever they, they, they feel is right, uh, that they would come out and say so. The fact that they haven't done this to me indicates that uh, indeed what uh, we've been feeling is, is, is their true position. All right. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us uh, this evening. That's uh, Professor Harshmut Winkler. He's from the University of Johannesburg's Department of Physics.